It's being called a tipping point in Alzheimer's research. A second treatment has now been approved that targets the underlying cause of Alzheimer's disease. And last week, data was released about a potential third drug. Well, I got the chance to speak with a Texas woman who has recently used the approved treatment, and she tells me hope for patients is no longer on the horizon. It's already here. Gail Youngdale's mother died from Alzheimer's disease. Then years later, she herself began forgetting names and losing memories. My children were telling me, you're doing some of the same things that grandmother did. And that disturbed me. Her daughter, Terry Youngdale, said it was early enough for her mom to enroll in a clinical trial for a new Alzheimer's drug. They found the Kerwin Medical Center running a global trial. I'm doing this for the people of the world, not just me, not just my family. She's proud to be a part of a trial that helped the FDA approve the drug with the brand name Lakembi. All of a sudden, now Alzheimer's is a manageable disease. That's amazing. It is amazing. But I have to say, it's not a quick fix. Mm -hmm. And it's not a cure either. For two years, Gail has done the infusions along with MRIs, PET scans, blood tests, and other assessments. That's a lot to go through. Is it worth it for you? It, I absolutely it was worth it. It didn't hurt me a bit. Medicare and Medicaid have agreed to cover uh, the drug once it's available to distribute. Greg Schuto is the executive director of the Alzheimer's Association of San Antonio and South Texas. He says three new Alzheimer's drugs all clear out plaque that builds up in the brain causing dementia. The first treatment called Adahelm was FDA approved three years ago, reducing cognitive decline by 15%. Then Lakembi was approved this year, reducing decline by 27%. Then just last week, data was released about donanumab in trials now showing up to a 35% reduction. The thing that all three have in common is they're most effective in the earliest stages of dementia. Which is why Gail got involved as soon as possible. And with Lakembi, she's seeing astounding improvement. My mind is a lot more clear than it used to be. And I sleep well and I eat well. She even started taking up old interests. There's a needle point pattern out that I haven't seen out in a long time. In her crochet again, if I have some music, I think I could play the piano. <laughs> I gave all my music away. Renewed hobbies, renewed hope, and a mission to break a century old stigma. She sees it as her strength. Whereas most people see Alzheimer's in any form of dementia as their weakness. I'm not ashamed of it. It's just something that happened. Something happening to millions who now have more treatment options than ever before. Touch your nose. If you or a loved one is starting to see signs of dementia, it may be time to see a doctor. The Alzheimer's Association is there to help and support you and find you those resources. You can call 210-822-6449 or head to their website. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.